Hello friends. Today in this session we will discuss two important aspects of a bitumen smith design that is bitumen filler ratio and asphalt film thickness in a mixture. And in this session I will tell you the significance of these two parameters and how these are estimated from the gradation and the binder content. The filler bitumen ratio is the ratio of quantity of filler and the quantity of binder in a mix and these are generally taken in weight but they can also be taken in the volume and some researchers believe that the FB ratio in terms of volume is more significant rather than in terms of weight. Now let me tell you how it is calculated. Say for example you have the gradation of a BC layer 50 millimeter thick as given in MOR TH specifications of 2013 and here if you look at this grading the filler that is material passing 75 micron can be 2 to 8 percent and what specification suggest that the minimum quantity of binder should be 5.2 percent by weight of the total mix. So let us take 5.2 as the binder content and let us say you have the filler content 2% or 8%. It can be in between these two also, but let us see the limit of this FB ratio. So, if you take filler as 2% and bitumen 5.2%, then this filler bitumen ratio will be 20 gram upon 52 gram in a mixture of 1000 grams. You can directly take the ratio of these two values 2 upon 5.2. So, filler bitumen ratio will be 0.385. If you take the another extreme of this filler content, then it will be 8% and this filler bitumen ratio will be 1.538. So it can vary from 0.38 to 1.538. Now, what is the significance of this? For some time, this filler binder ratio has been used as an indicator of the workability of an asphalt mixture. But now, it is considered responsible for an increase in the resistance of the mix to the accumulation of plastic deformation and this is more important when a harder bitumen is used. Now coarser particles of filler acts as inert component and fills the space between larger aggregates in mixes which provide strength and impermeability of the mixture. Excessive amount of filler may require higher bitumen content and higher filler binder ratio will stiffen the mix and lower ratio will affect the strength parameters. It means that excessive filler contents can seriously harm the fatigue performance of the asphalt mix. And if the filler is excessive, then it is also responsible for plastic deformation in the mixture. That means both problems can occur rutting as well as fatigue and because of this reason the filler bitumen ratio in MOR TH specification is suggested to be in the range of 0.6 to 1.2 by weight. But a recent document IRC 135 2022 suggests a narrow range of this filler bitumen ratio to control the rutting and fatigue and it says that this ratio should be in the range of 0.8 to 1.0. But as I will show you in the later part of this session, this range is mainly for dense bitumen mixes. It does not apply to the open grade friction courses or gap grade mixes like SMA where this filler bitumen ratio can exceed beyond 1.2 or 1.0 also. The second parameter is asphalt film thickness. And this is introduced in IRC 135, but we should remember that asphalt film thickness is not the part of mixed design. But we should also understand that low film thickness may cause premature distresses in the pavement. And therefore, in the analysis of mixes which have exhibited premature distress, it may be desirable to check the film thickness. So more of a quality control or more of a investigation purpose rather than designing the mix. 
Asphalt film thickness around an aggregate is a function of diameter of the aggregate and the percent bitumen content in the mix. And the film thickness decreases as the diameter of the particle decreases. It is generally believed that asphalt film mixture should have an adequate asphalt film thickness around the aggregate particles to ensure reasonable durability. The minimum asphalt film thickness generally recommended ranges from 6 to 8 microns. And if aggregates are susceptible to water damage, thin films are more easily and rapidly penetrated by water than thick ones, producing the problem of water damage, rutting, shoving, raveling and bleeding. Thick films which are associated with black flexible mixture are known to be durable. On the other hand, thin films which are associated with brownish brittle mixtures tend to crack and revel excessively, thus shortening the service life of the pavement. And mixtures with thick asphalt film are less susceptible to water damage than the mixtures with thin asphalt film since very little quantities of water can move through the mixture that contains thick film asphalt thickness. It means that the, if, thin, if the asphalt film thickness is thicker, it is not possible for water to enter the aggregate surface so easily and that increases the durability of the mixture. And this is one figure I have taken from a research paper which was published in the Building Environmental Journal. You can see here that as asphalt film thickness increases, the TSR value also increases. TSR here is tensile strength ratio and that is the indication of durability of the mixture. So as the film thickness increases, TSR value increases and that is one of the most important requirement in all mixes. IRC 135 suggests use of this equation to calculate bitumen film thickness. B upon 100 minus B into 1 upon PB into 1 upon SAF. T is the film thickness in meter. B is the bitumen content in the mix. PB density of the bitumen and SAF here is surface area factor in meter square per kg. This equation is borrowed from the Shell Bitumen Handbook 5th revision. And these are the surface area factors suggested by Veeam in his design of mix procedure that for percent passing maximum size sieve size is 0 0.41 and percent passing 4.75 is 0 0.41 passing 2.36.82 and you can see here as the sieve size reduces or you can say that grain size reduces surface area factor increases. Now let us take one example. This is the grading for bitmus concrete. Sieve size 26.5 to 0 0.075 and this is the midpoint of the grading suggested in MOR TH specifications. Now surface area is calculated using this equation. 0 0.41 is taken for the maximum size that is 26.5 and then this is started from this size 4.75. All these sizes between maximum size and 4.75 are ignored. And these coefficients here are surface area factors and A, B, C, D, E, F are the values passing these sieve sizes. So A is 0 0.45, B is 0 0.36, C is 0 0.27 and so on. A, B, C, D are taken in fraction. So if you put values of A, B, C, D in this equation here, A is 0 0.45, B is 0 0.36 and so on, then you get this surface, surface area factor equal to 5.6008 meter square per kg. And the thickness, bitumen film thickness is given by this equation here we have taken PB, let us say density of the bitumen is taken 1001 kg per meter cube. Service area factor is 5.6008. 
B, which one content 5.2, that is the minimum binder content as per MOR THC specifications for BC1. And if substitute values of these parameters here, you get T is equal to 0 0.00000969696 meter, or you can say 9.69 microns. That is the average film thickness on the different particles in the mixture. Another case, let us take the case of stone matrix asphalt. And these are two gradings given in MORTH and IRC code for SMA, 30 millimeter SMA and 90 millimeter SMA. We can take any of these two. Now here, let us take the binder content 6%. 5.8 is the minimum binder content for SMA and therefore let us take 6% uh, as the bit one content by weight of the mix. And if you consider the first grading and that is the midpoint of this grading, 90 to 195, 50 to 75, 62 and so on and binder content taken 6%, then the surface area factor can be calculated in a tabular form that for percent passing maximum sieve size it is 0 0.041 fraction passing is 1 that is 100 percent so surface area is 0 0.41 similarly for 4.75 it is 24 percent so you put here 0 0.24 multiply by these two factors you get 0 0.0984 for next size 0 0.82 is the surface area factor 20 percent is the fraction passing so 0.2 here and you can carry on all these calculations so total surface area factor is 5.579 meter square per kg and with this value if you go again in the same equation that the film thickness in meter is given by this equation put the value of pb 1001 kg per meter cube saf you got 5.5797 and b we have taken 6% so you get the thickness of the film as 0 0.00001428 meter or you can say 11.428 micro. Now this thickness is more than the thickness which we got in case of BC1 grading and this enhanced thickness provides more durability to SMA mixtures. Now if you calculate the filler binder ratio for this mixture for filler content 8 to 12 percent and binder contains 6 percent this filler bitumen ratio can range from 1.33 to 2.0 that means even if you take the grading corresponding to midpoint of the range then also this fb ratio will be more than one and this is the reason why sma is provided with higher binder content higher filler bitumen ratio and higher binder content imparts more resistance to rutting in these mixes. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write suggestion in the comment box.